we're coming in this weekend. I've been playing with some different stuff. I changed some stuff from Iowa to Nimes to Va or Lancaster. I mean, I shot a good qualification at Lancaster, which is a totally different animal. And the eliminations where I got a little nerved up, I didn't do as well as I'd have liked. So I made some changes the last few weeks. It's been feeling really good. I uh, went and shot a little local tournament, shot 26X300, you know, which is the big thing when you look at coming to Vegas to shoot in the 300. So I feel pretty comfortable and excited about the weekend. Vegas every year is pretty motivating. I, it hasn't lost any appeal at all. It's, it's exciting. I mean, it's the biggest tournament in the world. It's our Super Bowl. I kind of approach each day and each time getting ready for it. The first day is differently, and then the second day, and then, you know, you got to see if you make the finals. So then you have to go the next kind of, I just do it a step, take one at a time, as little as I can, and, and focus on what I got ahead of me. It does. Somebody asked me like one time, like, how is it? And I'm like, the first end is always the hardest for me. I can't tell you why. I don't know. It's yeah. It's a nap time. <sighs> I think we'll take a nap. Good. I was like, okay. Our third end, I pulled up, sat there really good. And it broke and it was a little high, but I was like, all right. And then I, in fact, it had kicked, so I didn't even think I'd missed it. And I looked up my bunk and I was like, oh, and Glenn's like, yeah, I don't, oh. Because it wasn't even like you go like this or like this. Yeah. That's kind of a little high, but oh well. Never seen the movie <laughs> gone 60 seconds. <laughs> Well, the part that makes me mad is, I know how good this bow's been shooting. Oh, yeah. After day one, I ended up down one and for a 299, 26X, is pretty happy. I mean, not upset with it because it's not a bad score, but it's not what you want, where 300s are what you have to have here every day. The way to stay motivated to me, honestly, is I'm always trying to compete because there's another tournament in a couple weeks. So I look at it as, let's just use this as stepping stones. Let's work on it, let's get it better. Let's do all that stuff and it, it could turn out pretty good. Tomorrow will be a pretty standard morning. There's no changes that I'm gonna do, no anything off the top of my head, because the bow shot good. It aims good, it's doing everything, my equipment's working well. I, like I said, the sight picture's great. The only thing I, I feel like is I bobbled once and that's the biggest part with this tournament is one little bobble can cost you everything here. Ready to start. Let's do it. Do work, brother. Shoot good today, man. Just hey, enjoy. Have fun. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Every day is a good day. Fifteen are still clean on our line. Yep. Yeah. 
Actually, three X's for everybody but Rio, and he's got two. Okay. Hey, good shooting with you, man. Good shooting. Good shooting with you. Yeah. Good shooting with you. Today I shot a 300 to 25 X's. Good comeback after yesterday. I mean, one less X than yesterday, but in this round, the 300 is what matters. So you put that up there, and it was good. I, I felt like I shot good. Had a few that just broke just off the X. I mean, a lot of just off, just off, just off. So going into tomorrow, there won't be anything I'm going to change. Everything seems to be shooting good. I have uh, everything if I miss is just by a hair, and that's more just me aiming a little bit better or a little worse. So I'll work on that, but that's about it. Bottom target, boys. So what's the app say? How many does the app say? But it's not updated, but... Uh oh. What is it between? 13. Oh. Uh, yeah. Brayden says 11, so... <laughs> oh, there you go. Now we're cooking with gas. We're just wanting entertainment. Uh, yeah. Sure, sure. I'm gonna play you a tune, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know he's giggling. Oh, it's getting interesting. So who long oh, is it? Eight. Eight? You know, you know they're gonna they're gonna do that thing where they put like words in our mouth because he's like videoing us, and then it's gonna be just like, oh, I had a chicken sandwich there last night, <laughs> stuff like that. Bad lip readings. Yeah, bad lip readings. <laughs> Starting to come together. A couple days late, but you know, yep. you know how that rolls. Yep. How about we say everybody again? Everybody again? I like that. Three X's. Feeling pretty good about the lucky dog. I haven't used any up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently I am. <laughs> I need to. Well, mine are looking too good right now. Shooting way too many of them. I need to quit that. Did we both put it on half? Yeah. I get one. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We have just done the show. We've got 27 shooters who are candidates for the lucky dog. Only 27? Only, yeah. only 27. It used to be like 35 and 45. Good luck, yeah. boys. Good job, brother. Today was pretty interesting. I mean, you end up with an 899, you have a shot at the lucky dog. So it's kind of one of those things that you, you want to get in, but I've never really honestly had a lot of success in. And I've never been lucky enough to stick one in and, and get started. So the last half, I got pretty hot on. I mean, I shot a lot of in the middle. I mean, my target on the bottom half, I didn't even come within probably a quarter inch of the 10 ring. So kind of one of them things. And it's you're like, you're feeling pretty good. And we both got over there and, and it was fun. Like I said, me and Chris get along, we're good friends. And we walked over and shot and it's kind of nice to be with each other. And he, he piped one and I piped one. So it was exciting to know that one of us is going to get a shot at this. So it was fun.
Bobby Eiler won this weekend. He shot great. You know, interesting to see a guy win that we would have never, I mean, if you'd have had odds in Vegas, it'd have been a thousand to one. So it's kind of interesting, which Vegas can be that way. Uh, it went pretty good all in all over the weekend. I mean, I'm pretty excited. I feel like I had some things go right this weekend, you know, just a lot of little hairs that could have, I mean, I could have been Chris Perkins. I mean, I was, like I said, the good showing in the, the lucky dog. I wasn't that far from being with him. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm excited to get ready to go to Georgia and then get ready for the NFA Indoor Nationals. Uh, overall conclusion of the weekend was the first day shot pretty good. I had one arrow that was a little hot that I, I, I knew it broke a little high. I would have never thought it would have been out of the Big Ten, but that's the one point that kind of got me out this weekend. The second day, I shot a 26X, wasn't, or 25X, wasn't bad. Felt like things rolled good. I shot really good today, this morning. I shot 28Xs, you know, and it was good. It was really, I shot a lot of inside out. Got to the lucky dog, shot really good there. Just had one lean on the line, so it cost. So kind of a, a weekend of, I feel like I shot really good. A lot of just like, just so close, but not close enough.